Hola, buenos días, buenas tardes, or buenas noches, depending on when you're watching this video. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Tommy Bardas. I'm an Australian expat, currently living here in the great Buenos Aires, Argentina. So on today's episode, we're just gonna cover a few of my experiences that I found interesting while living here in Buenos Aires. So put your feet up, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. El primer mate de la mañana. Muy bueno. So here in Argentina, the biggest cultural recognition is obviously seeing someone with this thing. What is this thing? Well, as an Australian, I will try to explain it as simple as possible. This is a mate. This is called a bombisha. This is sherba, and this Stanley thing is what holds the hot water. It's pretty much an outdoor tea. These things are green leaves that go into a sherba. This is a bombisha, just to say a straw that you drink out of, and this is the hot water. Once the sherba goes into the mate, you carry this thing around, and then that goes into there like that. So. The most distinctive way of seeing an Argentinian is them walking around with a mate, the bombisha, and them holding this like that. Early. When in Buenos Aires, be prepared to adjust your watch. Things start late here. Especially in the city, Buenos Aires is known for its nightlife. Bars and restaurants don't get busy until 10pm. And nightclubs, well, they don't tick off until 2am. So be prepared to get that most important siesta during the day, sleep in and get ready for the night ahead. Oi, che, cambia, 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 cambia. I've got one US dollar. How many pesos can I get with this? Ever since the 2001 financial crisis here in Argentina, where the bank pretty much froze everyone's bank account and stole all the people's money. The Argentinian peso has seen a massive rapid decline ever since then. So 
So now what that has done with the people is that no one trusts banks. So just to make it more confusing for people like me who are not Argentinian, it's really, really confusing because one, you have the normal Argentinian peso. You use the Argentinian peso to make small purchases such as gas and food, etc., etc. However, something more substantial like an apartment or a house or a car is done in US dollars. However, Here's the catch. If you have Argentinian pesos and you want to change them for the US dollar, because obviously you want to buy something more substantial, well, this is where it really, really gets interesting. There's something called the blue dollar. That's right, Argentina has three currencies. So the blue dollar is pretty much the unofficial currency of Argentina. However, it's not regulated. Prime example, you come to Argentina for a holiday and you're like, I have 1,000 US dollars, I need to change them for Argentinian pesos. Well, if you went to a national bank, those 1,000 peso, those 1,000 US dollars will become 10,000 pesos, right? However, the unofficial blue dollar here in Argentina, you turn that 1,000 US dollars to, yet say, 30,000 pesos. Ah, what a beautiful day it is driving out here in Moreno. Oh, oh, these roads are shocking, man. As you can see, driving out here in the Great Buenos Aires comes with its own sets of challenges. Major potholes and roads that aren't even done at all seem to be acceptable here. What do you know? Anyway, so while driving here, really, really pay attention. I did, however, hear of one ridiculous story where a pothole got so big on a major community road that they had to fill it in with a refrigerator. <laughs> now it just gets ridiculous. But hey, if you want to live out here with the people in Moreno, these are the things that you have to accept. What the hell is this bloody bus stop? Oi che, Baludo. Where the hell is this bus stop man? I'm on this corner here and there is no sign whatsoever. What do you mean there isn't a bus sign? What, well how do I know if I'm in the right spot? Well that is just bloody ridiculous. You're telling me that it's here, but there's no sign here that tells me that it's actually here, but it's here. That makes no sense, dude. All right, no worries, ciao. So if you wanna catch a bus out here in the Great Buenos Aires, you actually need to know some local knowledge because A, there ain't no actual physical bus stop signs that tells you where a bus actually stops. It comes down to local knowledge. Now this is massively due to the poor government funding that the Great Buenos Aires receives looks like it's actually not a priority. Hola babe. Yep, I'm almost home. Uh, just let me do the security checks before I pull into the driveway, okay? I just gotta make sure no one's following me. Okay, love you too. So this probably excludes people that live in country clubs because the security is taken care of for you. However, in my experiences, when visiting family and friends outside of the country club in the great Buenos Aires, these security measures are actually quite normal. Now you're probably thinking, what the hell does that entail? 
Well, in tales that when we go and visit someone, or let's just say you're a local Argentinian going home, then you actually do three laps of the block to make sure A, no one's following you, or B, no one is attempting to carjack you. It's not really pleasant, but it's just one of these things that sits into the back of your mind that you're always self-conscious about. So, Hi guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed a couple of my experiences here in Buenos Aires. Just a small disclaimer please, okay? I live in Moreno. It's completely different to the more touristic spots like Palermo and Riloqueta, okay? It's two complete different realities, okay? It's just a small insight of what actual reality is like here in Buenos Aires. I'm not trying to scare anyone, okay? Come visit Buenos Aires, Argentina. It is absolutely the most flamboyant, magnificent city I have ever been to, okay? So in saying that, uh, be sure to check out my other experiences in Argentina on my channel, wherever that may be. And I hopefully, hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video. Ciao.